The Prime Minister claims that we're leaving the European Union on exit day, currently set to be March the 29th, 2019, but which could now be delayed. However, if MPs vote for what is inaccurately called the withdrawal agreement, we will not in reality be leaving the European Union at all. As Article 7 of the text states, we would be treated as a member state in provision of union law, but one without the ability to nominate, appoint or elect members to the EU institutions or to participate in decision making. Neither would we have any vetoes on EU laws or decisions. This international treaty, keeping us in the EU, could extend as far as the end of this century before we did actually leave, regardless of the Northern Ireland backstop. Throughout that period, we would be bound by all international agreements the EU makes. We would be bound to EU tax rates, such as on VAT, and to pay pensions to ex-EU employees, free of tax. We would only be consulted on common fisheries policies, but would still be bound to the EU's decisions. We would not get our fishing grounds back. The level of support we give British farmers would be limited to 2019 levels, even if the EU substantially increased support and priced our farmers out of the market. And the EU would have control of state aid, even beyond the end of the treaty, which would greatly limit the ability of our government to be able to help our industries. And despite it being a manifesto commitment of over 80% of elected MPs to leave, we would still be inside the EU Customs Union, and would also be making a commitment to stay in a customs union even after the treaty had ended. The cost of remaining in the EU on these terms is the highly publicised £39 billion. The Attorney General, the highest government legal authority in the UK, estimates we only legally owe £8 billion. We would also pay additional unspecified payments beyond the year 2020. This does not in any way constitute leaving the EU, nor is it a transition to a new trade agreement as is claimed, because no future trade deal has been agreed. If members of Parliament were to vote for this next week, they would make our nation a vassal state. They would betray democracy and all of us. 52% voted to leave the European Union, and the 48% certainly didn't vote to remain like this. Some people will try and say that the content of this video is untrue, but you can verify it yourself by downloading the withdrawal agreement from the government's website. Unfortunately, our members of parliament are not aware of the trap that we're walking into. They typically receive tens of thousands of emails every month. The only way we can hope to get this message across is by sheer weight of numbers. So please, share this video with everyone you can and find out who your MP is, email it to them, and post it in reply to their recent posts on their Twitter and Facebook pages. Your actions could make all the difference, and quite literally, save our nation. Thank you.